Dwight Howard, Josh Smith, Rudy Gay, Sean Livingston, LaMarcus Aldridge, Rondo. Look out, J.R. Smith! I thought like this was my time, because in the beginning of the year, I was, I was number one. Then Dwight ended up being number one. And I dropped to like 15 or something like that. They started playing all these guys at the two guard position that was in front of me that I felt like there's no way they're better than me. One of the guys to really keep a close eye on today. Smith nails that one from about 30 feet. A lot of people were saying it's a fluke. He can't really shoot like that. He can't shoot that far. And talk about incredible rain. That is sick. Sick rain. Like everyone else was talking like Dwight Howard and all that. I was like, oh, yeah, my brother's better than them. Went to the game and he killed us. I said, oh, told you. Here's Smith. J.R. Smith stealing the show. Smith again. 25 points for J.R. Smith. I mean, I did pretty good. I got MVP. So <laughs> I'll take it. I'll say this for my guy, J.R., Mr. Smith. This guy's got range, he can shoot it, and he will be a player. Well, you know, a draft night, we were actually home. I mean, you didn't get invited to the camp because they didn't know if he was going to get drafted or not. New Orleans, 18th overall selection here, round one of the draft. We knew he's going to get drafted, but we just didn't know where. I was just sitting there waiting, waiting, waiting. With the 18th pick in the 2004 NBA draft, the New Orleans Hornets select J.R. Smith from St. Benedict's Prep. As they called my name, was, I mean, I just broke down in tears. First person I hugged was my mom, and we both started crying. My dad was just sitting there laughing, like I told you, I told you. I mean, I was unbelievably happy, but at the same time, I knew the work had just begun. This article was done in New Orleans, his rookie year. And yeah, this is me and J.R. At, at the house in New Orleans. When he was drafted, we moved with him. He, he didn't leave the Nets. We moved the we Nets. We went with him. <laughs> <laughs> no, we he, moved the Nets. We yes. moved part of the Nets. <laughs> Someone had said to me, well, why did you follow your son? Why did you go with him? It was second nature to us, and he was there. So much that when he bought a house in New Orleans, he gave us the master bedroom. Me. The so rookie, rookie of the month with um, Ben Gordon. He was like three months in a row. He probably won rookie of the year if he didn't set. Coach Scott, you know, he barely played rookies. Now, first half of the year, it was, it was tough. Probably three months, four months, I didn't even get off the bench. I mean, it was, it was frustrating and tough. The best thing about it, I had my dad there the whole year, my backbone. We used to go to the gym, get shots up late, late night, early, whatever, because I work hard regardless. Whether you watching or not, I'm going to work hard, and that's my, my motto. Work, work hard when nobody's looking, so when everybody's looking, everybody sees what you do. It's Lakewood Community Center. This is, we call it the center. Everything went down here. Anything you can imagine happened right here. So they changed it back in the day. We used to have the holes in the backboard. This is where I really got all my moves from, all my toughness. J.R. Smith climbs the ladder. People call it street basketball. All my street this is where I, this is where I get it from. Back he was double team and Smith throws oh. it down. And a foul. That's how you get talked about. Like New York, people had a rucker, they have Dyke and stuff like that. This was our rucker and Dyke. I mean, it was just playing ball, it was just hoop, you know? It wasn't nothing else that we wanted to do or nothing else we was trying to do. Preciotti lobbing to Smith for an electrifying finish. It wasn't no, oh, you fouled me, stuff like that. You get no respect. You get no respect until you earned it, and I earned it here. Yeah, it's the high school right here, it's the gym. It used to be, like, from where these cars parking out on the side when I used to play, it used to be sold out. There's no parking spots. Like, it used to be crazy. That's the bet, the championship. We won the B South Shore champ, group three champs, the South Banner, practice, games. They used to go down the head, boy. Tell him. Uh, this is Randy Holmes, the head high school coach here at Lakewood High School. One of my coaches when I was playing. What I remember about JR, when, when, when he first got in the game, he took a shot from somewhere <laughs> out there. And the head coach, Pop Richardson, he was like, no, 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 yes. <laughs> and then he had the Pop Bonds had the green light ever since. <laughs> JR, pass it to yourself. <laughs> 
We always knew like Jared was a special player. His athleticism, his range, and you know, he's very coachable. I think it was a state game. He had the most like vicious dunk. All of this was over the rim. And he just dunked it, the crowd went wild. For me, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, that's like that every night, of course. He's like mild mannered, but he gets the job done on the court. Yep, he was about his business. Still smell terrible. Terrible mustache. I just trash. Coming in here, let the coach yell at us. Feel smaller. My locker was over here. We used to go out, we used to do our chant. L A K E W O O D. Everybody scream Lakewood. And we used to take the floor and destroy everybody. You gotta forget where you come from. You know, this is, this is where I came from. You know, good, bad, and different. This is how I started my journey. I take Lakewood wherever I go. I don't know what this all about. Y'all hanging up nets. Oh, man. Y'all got, hold up, man. Y'all got this hanging in here now? Unbelievable. My dad always told me, you know what? One day you're gonna play for the Knicks. One day you're gonna play for the Knicks. I was like, no way, I'll never play for the Knicks. When he was coming from China, we were having like a three-way on Skype, and we were like, all right, so we needed to figure something out. He was like, where am I gonna go? Well, the Knicks are right around the corner. He said, well, I do like New York. I was like, I would say New York. Chris, uh, New York. Seth is like, New York. He said, all right, I'm gonna go to New York then. No <laughs> But he played in there before when he played for the Hornets and the Nuggets. J.R. Smith looks up, he'll hoist it up, no question about it, and hits a three at the buzzer. But it didn't seem like it wasn't like, oh my God, until he came back from China and then he put on the Knicks uniform and played that first game. That's when it was like, that was, that's when it got, that's oh when it got my real. God. <laughs> Welcome to MSG. J.R. Smith's first three is a Nick. The first time going on the court at MSG as a Nick was, uh, it was mind blowing. My dad, that was his favorite team from day one. Yeah, when I was growing up, I watched um, the Knicks Frazier Willis Reed, the Earl of Pearl, all of them. My dad is my idol, and to be able to do something that your idol is proud of is by far the best feeling I've ever had. How many times do you really get a chance to play for your parents' favorite team? And Smith strips it away from Gene, fires a three and sticks it. It was like uh, unbelievable, like, you know, the old times are catching up with the new times for me watching the old Knicks, now the new Knicks. Puts up a three, puts it in, J.R. Smith. And the Knicks lead by nine, largest lead of the night. It's scary in a way, you know. It just comes full circle. To have that Nick uniform on and to really represent, not only for me, not only New York, but New Jersey, my family. To be able to live in Jersey and still play for the Knicks is one of the greatest things in the world because I'm, I'm still able to be me and still able to see my family more. I'm in such a comfortable setting that, you know, it's a great fit for myself and my family.